Go and take what you want. Stop waiting on it. Stop waiting for it to be handed to you. Go out and get it. I see this massive problem with today's society. And this held me back for so fucking long. And it was the fact that, you know, I understood that it was going to take effort for me to get to where I wanted to be in life. And, and for this journey that I'm traveling, it was going to take effort. But I couldn't seem to push through the difficult mental blocks that I had. And the problem was, is I wasn't willing to commit psychological suicide. I would go in the gym all the time and I was able to train hard, right? Because I, I, I was able to see myself get a pump. I was able to see the progress that I was going to be made, the, the progress that was going to be made. It was foreshadowed to me. But what I struggled with was the mental resilience that it took to move forward in my mind. And I think that that's a huge epidemic today, right? It's the same way that when you're lifting weights and it, it burns. You're breaking down muscle tissue, and that is what builds back new muscle tissue after you've recovered. It's the same thing with cardio. When you're running and you've reached your your the the brink of of physical exhaustion, and your lungs start to burn, and you're breathing super heavy, that burning sensation in your lungs is the signal for adaptivity. That next time you'll be able to get to that point. And your lungs won't burn. That's why we say always train harder than you did before and you will continue to make progress. But where we get stumped is when that comes to the brain. When you sit down and you put effort into something. When you put effort into personal developing your mind. It's difficult. And we've been taught that if we reach a threshold of resistance... That that's not good. How do we not understand that when our brain gives us resistance, it's the signal for adaptivity. If I sit down at my computer and I struggle to work for six hours and it starts to be difficult, I start to lose my attention span. I start to lose my focus. That is the signal for adaptivity. That next time I might be able to focus for seven hours before I lose my productivity. I may be able to sit down and write for two hours straight. It's difficult when you're starting out. You sit there, your brain procrastinates. The world tells you that you have ADHD and you just need to pop Adderall and Ritalin and Vyvanse, but you don't need that. You need to train your mind. You need to commit psychological suicide. I'm putting this short video up for you guys today because I'm, I've become infatuated with the fact that I felt like I lost so many years of my life. Just because I didn't understand this simple principle. I was focusing on all these goals. I wanted to get a Ram TRX. I wanted all these things, right? But I was focused on the goal and I wasn't focused on the effort. I wasn't focused on, I fantasized about the goal and I didn't fantasize about the effort. But the current version of you, if you don't like where you are, you have to fantasize about the effort and not the end result. Because if you fantasize about the next time that you sit down and you try to work, the next time that you sit down and you try to put in effort, the next time that you face a difficult scenario, a difficult set of choices, if you fantasize about that difficulty and about proving to yourself every single time that you can put in the effort, that you can put in the work, that you are worth the outcome, the work will instill the worth inside of you. The one thing that I was missing for so long, and I am by no means perfect. I struggle every single day, but I have become obsessed, obsessed with those moments when I'm faced with a difficult choice and I have resistance and it's not easy. And instead of like the old me that I killed, the old me would have thought this is difficult. So that means what I'm doing is wrong. That is not true, brother. When it is difficult, that is your green flag. That is the sign that the path you are traveling is correct. Every single time you travel the path of least resistance, it leads to destruction. The path of least resistance leads to destruction. And society has taught us, school has taught us, the education system, the media has taught us that when something gives pushback, that when something doesn't feel right, that it is not for you. 
That is the lie that you are being sold. The reason all of these things are difficult, the reason success is looked at and respected is because people understand the effort that it took to get there. And a lot of people are not willing to put in that effort, but you are. You are. Go and take what is yours. Go and take what you know is yours. There is no more feeling sorry for yourself, waiting for someone to give you permission. You have a brain. You are a conscious human being. You are allowed to go out and take what you want so long that you worked for it and you are worthy of getting it. If you put in the right amount of effort, you can achieve anything in this life and no one can stop you. But first, you must commit psychological suicide of the version of you who thinks that difficulty equals the wrong path. Difficulty equals the right path. You should strive for every single day. How many difficult scenarios, how many difficult situations can I be put in and overcome them? That will equate to your growth. That is your answer. Stop scrolling. Stop searching. Stop listening. If you abide by that one principle every single day, no one can stop you. You will continue to make progress for the rest of your life exponentially with no plateau. If you search for the difficult and you work through it with intensity, not just by going through the motions, but with intensity, you can achieve anything that you put your mind to, but you must first kill off your old self. The reason it is difficult is because that is the old you dying. And as you level up, there will be new levels that the current you is not great at. And you'll have to kill off that version of yourself to get better every single time. It's like shedding new skin to become a new person, to become a person who embodies new habits, new traits, new abilities, and new skills. You must shed and psychological kill the old version of yourself. That is the only way to make rapid progress in this life. Short aggression talk for you guys today. I was doing my cardio and I was in there for like two hours this morning. Just getting it all out. I, I woke up this morning in such a negative state. And, and I, 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 I'm, I'm coming on here because I, I needed this. I needed this when I was younger. I need this now. I constantly reinforce this in myself. And this is the biggest, this is the biggest situation that is destroying men in today's society. Is that we have been taught that the difficult path is the wrong path. And I won't, I won't let it happen anymore. I will not let it happen in myself and the people around me and my clients. I won't let it happen with any of my subscribers, any of my viewers, because I fucking love every single one of you boys. Choose the difficult path every single day and commit psychological suicide. Be okay with the old version of you dying off so that the new version of you can be born. I love you boys. Stay aggressive.